Now, on my board, you can probably see here, I've got some of the biggest conspiracy theories the world ever seen. Do you like a good conspiracy theory? I wonder how many of you, you like a good, you know, you're on TikTok, you're scrolling away, and there's different conspiracy theories. Now, I wonder if there's any on this board here that you think I've missed. Have a good look at my board. Is there any conspiracy theories I need to add to this board? Have a good look. Is there anything I've missed off this board? Is there any other conspiracies you might add to this board right now? Well, let's see if you recognize any of them. Okay, the first one is this. Do you remember this guy? This is a guy called David Icke. He used to be a very good goalkeeper, but then he got into conspiracies, okay? Now, Icke believes, now get this. I'm not saying, by the way, I agree with any of these. I'm just trying to get your attention here. But Ike believes that there's a, a, an elite, there's lots and lots of different people who are lizards. He believes this man here, Mark Zuckerberg, is a lizard. Do you think that's true or do you think that's false? Next conspiracy theory. Who's this man here? Someone here tell me, uh, who is this man here? We've got anyone young going past? Anyone know who this man is? Do you know who this man is here? Do you recognise him? Anyone, come on. Who, who's this, who, you, who is he? Do you know that guy? It's, it's Andrew Tate. That's Andrew Tate, yeah. Thank you, my friend here is helping me. Andrew Tate. Now, Andrew Tate has his own conspiracy theory, okay? He believes that there's something called the Matrix, okay? I wonder if any of you guys going by, do you believe in the Matrix? Yeah. Do you the Matrix is trying to get us? No, he doesn't, okay, yeah. He, he believes, no, but Andrew Tate believes that the Matrix are out to get him, okay? Do you think that's true or do you think that's false? There's, an under, there's lots of elites and they're trying to control us. Do you think that's true or false? You're not sure? This woman's not sure? Okay, right. We're getting interested now. See, what about this one? Who's this lady? Do you know who this lady is? It's like a woman in it. Yeah, do you know who she is? You must, of course, it's Princess Diana. Do you know there's a crazy conspiracy theory where people believe she didn't really die in a car crash, it was a setup. I wonder if anyone thinks that's true or false. You think it's possible? Okay. People are nodding their heads. Some people think it's possible. Okay. Now this one is going to blow everyone away. Okay. Is this true or false? Is the earth flat? Okay. Do you, you think it's true? This lady thinks it's true. Okay. Well, she's proud to admit to it. You know, anyone else think the earth is flat today? For those of you going by, I've got the biggest conspiracy theories on this board. Not, you are, you've been, so you don't think it is. Are you? You're not sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay, right, very interesting, okay. Right, next one, now this one, maybe this one could be a bit more true. What about this one? Have we ever landed on the moon? You don't think we have, okay? There's a conspiracy theory that people say we never landed on the moon. And the big question that needs to be asked is this, why did we never go back? If we landed on the moon and now we've got all of this technology, why have we never been back? True or false, do you think we landed on the moon, okay? For those who are going by, I'm giving you the biggest conspiracy theories. I'm not saying I agree with them. I'm just throwing them out here. Now this one, does, does anyone recognize what this conspiracy theory is? Chemtrails, you're right. So when you look in the sky, you see this uh, vapor coming out and people say that these chemtrails are the ways that it's making us to, you know, it's causing it to rain, geoengineering and all of this stuff. Do you think that's true or false? You're not sure. Right. Where am I going with this? Where is this man today on Easter weekend going with this? Well, I'm going to give you the biggest conspiracy theory that people don't want to think about. I kept your attention with COVID. I kept your attention with David Icke, Andrew Tate. What about this one? Did Jesus Christ really rise from the dead? Is that a conspiracy theory? Did Jesus Christ really rise from the dead? Big question, isn't it? Okay. People are laughing already. But what year do you think I was born in? Maybe I don't want to go there, okay? Yeah, my wife's actually just come along as well. She might, maybe you can look at my wife. We're a similar age. And guess her age and then guess mine. 86, right, okay. We're both offended now, honey, okay. <laughs> I, what, I was born in 1991, okay? But like, listen to me, 1,991 years after who? After Jesus. So if Jesus is just a conspiracy theory, just a regular guy, why is it he split time in two? Why is it to this very day we measure our calendar? BC before Christ, AD in the year of our Lord. If he's just a fictional character, how did he split time in two? Another question is, why have they never found the body yet? You know, all these people who say Jesus wasn't, didn't exist, at the time when Jesus was on earth, loads of people didn't want to believe in him and no one could find the body. Could it be, could it be that Jesus Christ really rose from the dead? 
Now you might say the Bible's a fairy tale, Jesus is a fairy tale, but what about this? Is your sin a fairy tale? It's not a fairy tale, is it? Have you done wrong things in this life? I just said that's my wife there. Do you think I've ever made this woman cry before? What do you think? I have actually, okay? Do you think these are my children? Do you think I've ever been lost my temper when it's not the right thing at times with my children? You don't think so, okay. Well, you, you, you've got a lot of faith in me, my friend. <laughs> well, the truth is I have. I've lied, I've, I've stolen, I've looked at things I shouldn't have. I'm a sinner. And yet, do you know what Jesus did on the cross for me? He died there for all of my sins. And I'll tell you something, he died for all of your sins too. Past, present and future, all of your sins were nailed to that cross. And if you come to him, Jesus Christ promises to wash away all of your sins and give you a fresh start because he rose from the dead. One final challenge, if there's any atheists now in uh, Southport, I've got a challenge for you. What would you think of me, Mr. Atheist, if I said to you, Harry Potter is a terrible book? What if I said, Harry Potter is a terrible book, but I've never read it before? What would you think of me? Well, you'd say, read it first and then make a judgment. Don't laugh at the Bible. Don't say the Bible's a load of nonsense without first sitting down and reading it. And I'll give you a portion of the Bible for free right now. John's Gospel, if no one's too embarrassed to take it from the wacky street preacher's hand, you can have this for free today. Would you like it? Would you like to consider these things? I'll come in. Meet me halfway, okay, as the song goes, yeah? Would you like one as well, sir? Would you like one, sir? Thank you. God bless you.